Sarah, welcome to media. Um, tell me, uh, what's it like be being part of that defense these first couple of weeks, you know, knowing that, you know, one mistake can beat you, but the fact that you guys have thrown up back-to-back -back shutouts. Yeah, so um, I actually came in here thinking that I was going to play midfield, and a couple weeks in, they said, hey, we actually are looking to put you at outside back, and I was like, oh, my gosh, I don't know if I could do this. And um, with training and with the help of our – um, veterans like Jen and Norman and um, all of the coaching staff here. I've just gained confidence throughout the games. And in TCU, it was a big learning experience for me just because we hadn't played 11, the 11 that that high of a like tempo and speed, but the tech game kind of settled into it more and realized that, yeah, one mistake can change the whole game. But with my veterans coaching me and the coaches, it's just, it's been pretty good so far. So <laughs> You mentioned uh, Jen there. Um, talk about her leadership, and she just tied the all-time record for career shutouts. Um, you know, how impressive is she back there in goal? She's so impressive back there in goal. I mean, she helps me so much. Just, hey, Sarah, scoot over a little bit. Sarah, check your shoulder. And I see, I didn't see a man before, and she's like, hey, they're right behind you. I'm like, oh, thank you. Back up. You know, thank you, Jen. Um, sometimes I catch myself being too confident in her sometimes that I have to be pessimistic and try to run back and get my man just in case Jen never messes up, but she, she's human. So if she does, then I have to try to be there at all times for her, but it's just awesome having her as my goalie back there. So. Yeah. Thanks Sarah. Jen was smiling that entire answer. <laughs> all right. Who was that? Matt? Yeah, I guess just with the the defense, obviously two outstanding games in a row. Is it, and, and how much do y'all put on your shoulders as this team tries to figure out who they are, especially on the offensive side of the ball? Because it's it's simplistic, but if they can't score, they can't win. Right. We. Um, I just learned this thing coming in here with Kaylee and Norman and Jen. They all say no goal patrol, and so that's just the goal of the game. Even if it's ugly, sometimes just get that ball out of the goal. And it's been working for the past couple of games. Um, yeah, we need to go and find the back of the goal. I find myself trying to get too far forward sometimes just because I used to be a midfielder and I need to learn to be disciplined and stay back. But yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, Jama. With the uh, coaches switching your position, uh, do you have any – Good stories about, uh, you, you know, switching to defense and, and the coaches obviously put a lot of emphasis on that. I mean, you don't have to be here long, right, to realize how important defense is for this program. Right. Well, when they said that we wanted you to play defense, I was, are you sure? And like, <laughs> really? You know, just because I've always been someone that loves to dribble and I've, I learned first like really fast in the first couple of weeks I got knocked on my butt a couple of times you know just pass the ball has to be quicker I have to get out of the back um but I learned from messing up a lot to not do those things anymore and so now I feel more comfortable in my role and it's good you have to be uncomfortable to be comfortable so uh and with just the coaches being so understanding and they obviously know that it's I'm new to this position and I've never played defense before but with all the practice that we've had, he always says defense first is what Coach Paul says. So we have done defense first, and now we're just looking to work on the offense. <laughs>